and now we're going to just um, tighten up these dimensions a little bit and so I mean we just we happen to have the finished floor plan but you can do this any way you want it doesn't matter so let's just start up over here so the way you do it is you pick the object after you've dimensioned it and then you change the number so we can look over here and we can see this is four foot two so watch how I do this four space two click out makes that four foot two click again pick on this one this number over here highlights I can click on there change that to be six foot five now I could say six foot five inches if I wanted that would also work but it's a little easier to do just six space five these guys over here I'm not really sure what they are because I don't have them dimensioned I'll wait until the window goes in work our way over here this one here I can pick up in here and say okay this is supposed to be 13 space 2 13 foot 2 nudges it over now I want to pick this wall and I want to change that to be 13 foot 3 I was pretty close on that click out now I can pick on this one this one has to be 13 7 13 space 7 click out moves that one this one's 10 feet everything works out good that way okay now let's go across here this one over here is supposed to be 8 foot 8 8 space 8 click out then the space between this one and this one which is this dimension here is supposed to be 4 foot 4 click out and then this ends up being my 12 foot so that works out well I can take this guy and use my arrow key and just nudge that over a little bit to get out of the way okay then I can look at my next set of dimensions and I say okay uh, this is one foot six which is good and this needs to be five foot eight so I'm gonna pick on this and change this to say five space eight click out does that so I can take this dimension kinda of move it up over there take this guy maybe move it a little bit over here click out okay so I've got my one foot six my five foot eight my four foot four okay so that quickly you can get all your partitions on there and in there in dimension now these don't have to be my final dimensions these are, could be just used to kind of get things in place and then I could easily go in here and just go delete 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 you know get rid of a lot of these and redimension them okay just by restarting my dimension tool and placing them a little bit differently okay so I'm just gonna undo that and bring those guys back Okay, so there's those partition walls and located. Um, I think we will add in our uh, interior doors uh, in our next step. And I do see one more that I left out and this guy is actually not 25 feet, it is 24 feet 11. Click out and that is a little better. Now we're ready to start adding in our interior doors.